Hi, boys and girls. It's time for math. Okay, so yesterday when I left you, I asked you a quick question, and here's what I proposed. If Jackson has 349 popsicles and shares 218 with his class, how many does he have left? If he gives 74 to Alexander to share with his sister Alexa, how many does he have left to eat? So I have for you the solutions. Um, if you can see, at the top, I wrote 349, and I took away 218 to equal 131. Now, I wanted to double check to make sure that my answer was correct. So I took my answer, I added what I subtracted to see if I got what I started with, and I did. So my checking worked out. That's one way in math that you can always go back and look, and do I have it done correctly? Okay, then Jackson shared them again with Alexander and, her, and his sister Alexa. And when he took those away, I used my number line and I counted up. When I counted my 31, 25, and 1 that I added, I got 57, which means from Jackson starting with 349, he ended up with 57 popsicles. I'd say he's pretty, pretty, pretty kind. Okay, so... Today, for math, um, we're going to look at making a graph, okay? So what we're going to start with um, is um, a third grade survey. Now, of course, I made this survey up because we're not at school to actually do the survey, but um, here we go. Maybe it'll be a little lighter now. Okay, so here we go with um, our third grade survey. Okay, now you're going to need this survey to actually make your graph and to answer your questions. Okay, so I, when I surveyed third grade, um, I asked them what their very favorite season was. And out of all of these students, 25 said spring, 60 said summer, 10 said fall, and 20 said winter. All right, now you might want to pause it and write that down because you're going to need it to make your bar graph. Okay. All right. When I made my bar graph, I decided that 60 was a pretty big number. Okay. So what I did was I made my squares, which is a little hard for you to see, but they're pretty big squares. I made my squares um, into groups of 10 students because making 60, what I would have needed a really big piece of graph paper. So I started with spring. Now spring was not um, an even number. It it was half. So what I did was right in between 20 and 30 is where 25 would be. And that's where I made my graph, uh, the bar for my graph. Okay. For summer, I went all the way up to 60. For fall, I made sure, look, I made all my line, make sure that I made 10. And for winter, my line falls in 20. So the same information that I got from my survey of course, I'm like, have a million thumbs today. I can't pick it up. I took my information here and added the exact same information to my graph. Okay? Alrighty. So take a minute, make your graph, and when you're ready, come back for my questions that I have for you. All right. Again, with the million thumbs today. All right, here we go. Okay. So my first question to you was, how many students participated? You might want to put it on pause. Okay. And how many people participated? So I added my number 60 plus 20 plus 10 plus 25 to find out that 115 students participated in my survey. Okay, my next question for you, I think you just saw it by accident, oopsie, was which season is the favorite? And if you look at your graph, you can see very easily that it is clearly summer. Okay, but what is your favorite season? If I was about to ask you, I have to say that I love fall because it's still warm enough to be outside. Football starts. And I get a new classroom of students, never to replace the ones that I currently have, but just more kiddos that I get to reach out and touch. And I love, love, love my job. Okay, so favorite season is summer. And how many students was that? Well, it was 60. 
All right, my next question, and again, I would give it a pause, is did students choose warmer or colder seasons as their favorite, and how many more? Hmm, good question. All right, give it a pause, because my next one, there's a big answer for it. Okay, here we go. So, the question was, did they choose warmer or colder seasons, and how many more said that? Okay, so my warmer seasons are summer and spring. Summer had 60 students, spring had 25. When I added that together, I got 85 total students. The colder seasons are winter and fall, 20 and 10. When you add 20 and 10, you get 30. Then I wanted to know how many more. I could have done that in two different ways. I could have started at 30. How many did I need to add to get to 85? Or I could start with 85, take away my 30, and how many would I get? Either way, I got the exact same answer, and my answer is 55 more students. Okay, boys and girls, so that's it for math today, and I will talk to you soon.